Yo, 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 YouTube. Time for another card show video. This one I'm set up at, at the KI Convention Center in Green Bay. And I'll walk you through some of the deals on the seller side as well as some of my buys. After picking up our snacks and our other essentials for the day, we've arrived at the parking ramp for the card show. I'm going to get everything out, get it loaded up, and wheel it on in. Yes. 
as you can see here by my long intro, it is a little bit of a haul from the parking ramp to the convention center. But I'm finally in and I'm at my table and now I'm starting to get everything set up. Pretty simple because I'm just doing dime boxes. The box that I was talking about in the setup video that I was going to do a quarter a piece, I decided to just keep it 10 cents. That way it's really simple. This is all stuff I just want to move. I don't really have any money in it. And uh, if someone else finds a good deal, good for them. So now that I'm all set up, my favorite part of the day begins. Oh, I got these three Barry Sander cards I set aside for a customer. I'll stick those back there. Uh, but anyway, now I get to go and shop the dealers before the show opens. And that's my favorite thing about this show. I like the dealers here. They always have good stuff for me. And uh, to get a chance to look at it before anybody else does is priceless. So immediately when I round the corner, I find a dollar box, or six for five, I think it was. So that I'd start digging through that. Didn't really find anything, so I moved on pretty quickly. He only has baseball. I do buy some baseball, but it's not my main focus. I think you're mostly baseball, though, hey? All baseball. All baseball? Yeah. Not really buying baseball right now. There might accidentally be a football card or something, <laughs> you know, stuck sure. in there somewhere, but, sure. but basically it's all. Okay, thank you. Pretty much the same thing at this table, it was six for five dollars, mostly baseball. I was interested in that Favre mini card. I'd sold those before for five to six bucks. So a dollar would have been okay, but I really need to bundle to get the best price and I just couldn't get enough together to make a bundle. This next dealer here I'm going to stop at, I've bought from before, he's always in the same spot every show. 
And he has a decent dime box area and a, a two for a dollar box. So I figured that might be a great jumping off spot. But. He's only got a case coming. You can slide that way. Any big ones? Not really. No. Really. no. Put the stick on the hand. Okay. All right. I'm finding some baseball and some basketball at this dealer, which is good. I tend to gravitate more towards football, but I'm trying to get some more baseball and basketball right now. But I'm on the baseball, I'm really trying to pay attention and not get too much unlicensed um, cards. They just don't sell as well. You guys man in the table or? Yeah. Okay. Would you take 15 for those? They're all out of the two for a dollar. And then some of the 10 cent ones. Hey. 
Ah, uh, no, that's okay. Thank you. Poker card? Bubble gum, even better. American GI bubble gum. Nice. to find a box like this where it's a dollar per card but for the show they're doing half price or if you buy so many you get them half price the two for a dollar thing is very attractive to me unfortunately these weren't top loaded but there were some good cards in there i mean right off the bat i found a kenny pickett illusions rookie for 50 cents it's a pretty good buy okay. Creek wouldn't be as bad. 
Yeah, did you hear what happened? We want that. That monkey. I would give. Um, uh, yeah, we, I, we drove all the way to Marshfield. We drove all the way to Marshfield, but they the wrong before. So, you got it? Yep. So, did you guys shut up there or just went to it? Oh, no, we went there a week before it actually. Oh, yeah. So, we drove an hour and a half to Marshfield. So, did you go to the car shop in Marshfield while you were there? No, I just drove back and cried. Are you talking about the wrong weekend? Yeah, yeah. Because right. I rode with them. <laughs> <laughs> that just makes you an accomplice. That's all. <laughs> well, I didn't check the date because I took the care of it. Like he said, it happens. Out. Trust me, I always double, triple check dates on everything now because I'm always scared that I'm going to go. Like, I drove three quarters with pins on a wrong weekend to be able to go to a show that didn't exist. So, you're not the only one that's done it. Even better yet, I found a little box off to the left here with the yellow tabs up top that said it was all 90s cards. So I was super interested in that. That's my favorite decade of sports cards, and I know it very well, and there's some cool insights. So I had to dig through those. Or my wife a favorite, and brought him with, so he wasn't sitting at the girls' volleyball all day in Berlin. Yeah, that's very well. Nothing new. No. Yeah. Maybe a couple in here in the four dollar. I haven't bought much hockey lately. Well, I can't say that. It's at the National. I bought that Allure box and then that uh, SPX. So I have a lot of that in here. Oh, I'm out. Yeah. I can't swing that. I'm going to say Right, right. Oh, if, financially, just not happening right no. now for that. Yeah, Jeremy wants to go all five days. Like, you can. Right. I mean, if like, it was like a drive there, go, and then, the and then ne spend back. the night, and then go the next day for a little bit, and then come back, I might be able to do that for like two days. Yeah, that's what Nick's doing. He's in I'll for like see, two days. I'll see what happens and go from there. Depends on when and... He's like, yeah, the max I want to do is like, leave that. Like, the, like, the big problem is it's always a week of VA. And missing two days of that is... It's yeah, tough. Yeah. Because of my wife working there. Yeah. Uh, the worst part about EA this year was witnessing the helicopter crash. Oh, okay. So I have. Was there really? Okay. I didn't see... I didn't see it was like... It was our home. Yeah, there were, it was the same day that that E6 crashed into the Lake Winnebago. It was right after oh, that. Okay. So, yeah, that's some of the newer stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's like me and a Moritz Cider Auto. Good luck. There goes 150 bucks easy. I don't like that. Start digging. I'm not digging in your pocket. <laughs> you locked it, right? That's all the quarters. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Did you do what I asked? I said when you got back, I did. You did. I did. <laughs> Got some older stuff. I like that. Yeah. Nobody does that. 
That's why I put it a little label on the box thing or on the sleeve saying I saw that. 2000. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Well, because you get some people that, that are nice. okay with it or some people that are looking for it. I'd rather people know mm -hmm. what they're looking at than to go, oh, why is this here? I like, agree. Well, it's kind of labeled. <laughs> yeah, well done. As well as the basketball stuff, I have so many more inserts sitting at home of all that that me and my dad collected back when I was a kid that I could probably pull and have like four boxes of just that alone in basketball. It's just melt. There's a lot of demand for that stuff. Huh? There's demand for that stuff. There is. The price isn't really high, but I mean, some of the right. cards people just want for nostalgia reasons. Or they're set collectors. Yep. Mm -hmm. like you're like this it's like oh man <laughs> look at look at Tim's and Green Bay if you set up at his it's even smaller than this but like if you pick a spot on the wall literally your chair has to be sideways like you can't sit it is I turn my chair sideways and I pick a certain spot where I know where I can be and I'm fine He is not. Um, I usually work for him at shows, me and Riley. But yeah, he, uh, him and Riley have a golf outing today. And it was originally Nick had a golf outing and Riley was going to a car show, uh, car show in Beloit. But his, he got the date wrong and it's really tomorrow. So they just decided to do the golf outing together. I'm like, hey, you guys do what you gotta do. So I, I took their spot for today and saved it for them. And, no, brakes aren't brakes aren't that big. It's the boom box that they do on Thursday yeah, night. They did a pretty good on that. Yeah, they did a they did a good job. So I know Joey bought into it. So yeah, have them guys helping operate a lot of cars. Yep. Oh, they. Oh, yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, I used to help on Thursday nights with boom boxes, but my kids are seniors, and it's just so hard with flash with soccer. Great. The musicians did a concert in Milwaukee. I'm surprised. With Clay Walker at River. You got 66. Did you do 25? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Pleasure. I'll be back. Ended up being a pretty darn good deal at just about 30 cents a card. So I was really happy with that. At least I made one good early stop. Yeah, and then you can buy stuff. <laughs> Thank you. One of the things I wanted to do when I got back to the table with my purchase was go through some of the cards with Charlie and just show him why I bought certain cards. One of my favorite parts of the hobby is being able to help others. Some landscape in action ones I held on to more Money. frequently. Yeah. Stuff like this where it's first edition Bowman. Yeah. That's a nice, there's a nice bump for that. McNabb rookie. Just, sometimes 
what I like about the dime box is I can take a chance on stuff. Yeah. I have no Nick Foles rookies. I'm like, eh, I'll buy a Nick yeah. Foles rookie for a nickel yeah. and see if it does That's something. That's why, like, I was Zach in... Thomas, you know, your defensive guys yeah. there. I you didn't, know, Silver uh... Signature Edition. Oh, I like that. So, and here's another one, the Aikman. Yep. It's got such a nice auto. Those are, those are the kinds of things you want to take a chance on in the yep. 10 centers. Goddamn mini cards. Yeah, I was a little more selective. I was happy to see this because I knew he would have more of them. I found like seven or eight different yeah, press pass. Yeah, Manning mini. Calvin Johnson's. Here's another one. Yep. They're press pass, but the, it doesn't matter. This is a chain mail insert. They're really rare. There's only, they're only like no, out of 50. They're not serial that. number, but they're out of 50. Yep. I had a Brady of this once. I sold it for 200 bucks. Yeah. So non-name, no-name player, but all I gotta do is get three dollars for it. You know? Exactly. <laughs> Eli rookie, Roethlisberger rookie, Philip Rivers rookie. I, you don't have to get fifty bucks for them. You just right, have to get right. you know four or five dollars for them. I just sold a whole pile of these. Somebody came in and bought a bunch of them. So now, do you know what's special about these? These are not great names. You got Shockey and Portis. You know why I bought those? Why? Oh, Tiffany. Tiffany edition. Yeah. Very, very so rare. is that like the top Tiffany baseball? They don't... Numbered out of 200. Okay. Yeah. You know my play on bazookas. Yeah. I sold my Ricky Pierce bazooka for $4. Really? Probably. Ricky Pierce. He's a nobody. That Brady better be in here. Because that Brady's going to pay for this whole box. Yeah. I bought a lot of Shaq. But I've been selling it. That was one of my moves the last few shows. I like the uh, blank backs. I got a couple of those. I like the, the skylights. Those are one of my favorites yeah. too. The Jordans do really well. A little bit of bird. Yeah, Chick, lots of birds. Is Chick yeah. Woman's oh, national super. team. I'm like, hey, why not? No, it's not. It's Katie Studding. Oh, okay. But you don't find girl basketball cards yeah. in the men's sets very often, so I thought I'd pick that up. These, do you know where I bought these? Not huge names, pretty good names. Yeah. You, got, you got Irvin and Elway and Aikman yeah. and Bledsoe. So these were a, from a special edition called Back to School. Oh, okay. And they were little packs given away to kids, so you see there's no numbers on them. Yeah. They just say Back to School. A lot of them didn't make it because they get beat up. Right. Yeah. So you get a premium on those. Whoa! Goodness. That could have been bad. <laughs> These big signs, it was funny, I found like four or five That's of those. Cool, yeah. I saw a ton of those. Rookie debut, I'm running low on those, so yeah. I picked those up. <laughs> and some more Shaq stuff. Mahomes, any Mahomes card for 10 cents I'm gonna buy. Yeah, you're having a good day. These are from National Trading Card Day. Mm -hmm. I have a few of those There's baseball another. cards. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gold Fitz, Gold Vic, Eli Rookie, yeah. Gold Elway, That's all 10 cents, dude. Favre Rookie. So he had a sticker card too for him in the football one, it was nice. Sticker card? Yeah, it was a quarterback. I don't remember what it was. There's another one of those blank bags from yeah. Zuperman. I always buy a lot of the top space. Top space basketball does really well. Heavy here's, another, here's another. Here's uh, another Rothfuss burger. Huh? Um, I bought a bunch. I know that. <laughs> Yeah, I bought this entire stack of Montana. I saw that, Montana yeah. stuff does so well. It's top. It's a box of it. How am I gonna get it's an exclusive. Here? The Chicle cards do really well. Tops National Chicle, so I try to buy those. If they're good players. Dion First Edition or yeah. Special Edition. Flare Showcase. Do you know why I bought these? Why? These are the select, select. parallels. In that year, the selects were really, really, really tough to pull. Okay. Why? Hobby Reserve. You want to buy Hobby Reserve copies? Yeah, I haven't seen that badge before. Those are pretty tough. This one's pretty cool. 
This one is the f fantasy forecast, and it's color changing. So you hold your thumb on it, and then it reveals. Oh, I haven't seen that. What his forecast what is. is. It has a thermal sensitive little. Uh, so you hold your kind of you hold your thumb colors. on. This is normally black when it's cold, and you put your thumb on it, and then it reveals the the thing. This is Derek Thomas out of the I Superstars the, uh, set. These are longevity parallels. Maybe upper deck fun pack. Yes. They had some of those uh, heat sensitive. Yes, yeah. the baseball ones. Yeah. yeah the baseball I have uh, some Griffies. Yeah. Yeah, those were fun. It was like the whole background was heat sensitive. Right. Yeah, you could. Those were underrated. And you know what? Those were cheap. They were they were supposed to be for kids, so they're like fifty cents a pack. Yeah. And now they're you know that you have to pay a fortune to get them because yeah. they have all those great gimmicks those, I mean, those gimmicks were, to them. I love those. Man. I had a lot of those. I mean, I was probably. Yeah. Yeah, it was, they came out at the right time. Born separately. Yeah, those were awesome. I bought a bunch of tops total because these sell. I don't know why, but these sell really well. I mean, I have a hard time keeping them in stock. And there's some parallels. Here's the silver. There's a green one in there. Um, did pick up an insert too. Bettis cups. Yeah, that one caught my attention before. The blue ones are really tough to pull, the blue border. Yeah. So here's a green border. They come in a bunch of different colors and they're just really annoying, so I just buy them. Calvin Johnson, far rookie. Yeah, I remember that color. Adrian Peterson rookie. Debuts are hard to find. This Dynamite Vic. That was a pretty cool card. Old Marino. I'm selling some Warren Moon lately. Well, I didn't intend to buy that, but whatever. Marino Cunningham. Spreading my uh, player list a little bit. About, yeah. Not yet, no. It's it better be in here. Um, blue parallel gold. This is, this is by far my best ten cent pick ever. A numbered two thousand three score Brady card. Is it? Ironically enough, three cards in. It's the scorecard. So it doesn't. It's not super obvious, but no. I, I mean that. The, the face of, I, the, One of the like Santa that, Claus. The face of that Brady wouldn't have caught my attention at all. Just another base mm -hmm. Brady, I would have said. And it's out of 500. It's not yeah. like it's out of five or right. something, but right. it's Brady, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Not to mention the fact that that was a really, really low printed year. This is from 2003. Yeah. It's his third year in the league, so it's a very early Brady card. It was good timing because I was gone for like an hour digging oh, really? in the box in there. I was my, like, crap, I hope he doesn't I come by. He, he was. Kids, I was. <laughs> my kids football this morning, so that got me here. Oh, did you? And nice. then they're gone, so I'm like, well, you're not coming to the day, bud, so you have to come to the next one. Yeah, I didn't intend to be gone that long, but one of my favorite 10 cent guys was he reloaded before this show, so. What's that? He reloaded all his 10 cent boxes before this show, oh, so geez. I had to spend some time over there. <laughs> That's good. That's good stuff. I can flip that stuff. A lot of mini cards. I don't know about mini this cards. Brett Favre guy. <laughs> Some of that is just uh, stuff that I had lower quantity of. People are coming in by like, like they'll media. buy like yeah yeah like him. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the low end stuff. People are coming in and buy like twenty copies of something. What's that? They'll buy like twenty copies of a card. Really? So it's like then yeah, now I gotta go and buy some because why twenty copies clean up. The same car? Yeah, I think yeah. some of it is for grading. Oh I get that. You know, some of it might be maybe it's like a best man giveaway thing, you know. Who knows? Yeah. It just seems I like had one I had a teacher that messaged me. She wanted a bunch bunch of farv cards but he had to be in a throwback uniform oh cool yeah so she bought a bunch of like skybox and like you yeah. know that year they did the like pretty much every card released was in a throwback uniform yeah like 94 just low end stuff you know 50 cent cards 75 cent cards whatever and she bought like 25 or 30 cards for me because she wanted them for the kids in her class sure well, that makes stuff sense. like that comes up yeah i get that brady i saw a lot of bulk Lot. I had a one guy buy like 900 Brady's from me. Oh, I knew that. Just junk stuff, score, base, and um, yeah. So there's a lot of that too. So I I can't have enough stuff, unfortunately. Yeah. I have to always. I mean, I like to buy, so that's fun. But 
Yeah, they're trying so, to get a little bit more. The kids are on the Pokemon stuff, so that's a tough about that one. But right. I sort I don't know. I don't I don't get dabble as much as I should be in it anymore, but I like to just come and walk. It's around time consuming. Oh, it is. You know, I I do this full time. Yeah, I don't have I don't have the time. For yeah, this. yeah. Stall. Well. That's what, uh, I mean, I was essentially working two full-time jobs for a while, because I'd get up at like 3, 30, 4 in the morning. I have like 32,000 listings on eBay, which is like half of where I want to be. Well, yeah. So I'm going to double up from there, and it's like, I was doing that for four hours, going to work, coming home, doing a couple hours, yeah. and then packing cards and shit, you know, and it's like, this is, yeah. looking at the money, and I'm like, <laughs> make as much doing the cards as I do the, I'm like, all right, I'll yeah. choose, I choose cards, and then I can work at home, and... Works I got a kid and stuff, so yeah. it's nice. Love it. Yeah. So. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No one might. I mean, that's like kind of what you said. It's either you get just go all into it, or it's like anything. Like now, I have to go buy stuff. Now I have to sell stuff. Now I have, you know. Yeah. So it changes the intensity of it a little bit, but. You seen? Um, I saw something pop up. Was it Dave and Buster's has a few kind of. Uh, they have some Packers kind of sign. Yeah. 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 Andre Risen is going to be there. Yeah, that's pretty wild. It's like, I didn't see him what? He lives in Atlanta. Time. I'm like, what the hell is he doing here? Needs the money. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't you see know. him. <laughs> but they, got, the prices weren't bad. It was like 25, 30 bucks, I some think, for, yeah. for them. So. I think they wanted like 50 for Amon. It's, like, it's a little above. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, when you start pushing over $30 for some of these guys, I'm like, eh. Especially a non Hall of Famer. Comments. You know, if you're a Hall of Famer, yeah, you can start, you know, put it, putting the price up. But. Yeah. I was like, it gets to be a little rough. But yeah. I was gonna, first I was like, oh, I'm going to go. So I'm like, I saw the price. I'm like, I really don't care for those guys. And I had all their autographs mm -hmm. at one point. So I'm like. Right. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. This would be kind of cool to do, but. Yeah. I don't, I don't really do don't autographs. It's not my thing. So. Well, that's the problem. It's but. like, you can go as crazy or gang busters as you want with all of that. You know, it's like, where do you cut it off? You right. Know? I like the more, I'm more like you, obviously. I like more of the 90s, rare insert type stuff. That's That to me is the, the real gold in the hobby. And I like vintage. I found a new appreciation for vintage. I find myself buying a lot of yeah. old Namath stuff and that kind of thing. It's just Yeah, it's too. It's just kind of neat. And, and it's, uh, it's conservative. Yes. Like it's not, you're not going to see a huge drop in Joe Namath prices, you know. I know we're I'm so, trying to think how many cards I'm laying out from 72 tops football. It's like 10 or less, I think, now. Yeah. So. That's awesome. Getting close to it. Yeah. I've got the major, all the major cards, finding some of those other in action ones. Yeah. The high series in action. And people just want too damn much for the nobody players yeah. just because of the third series, you know? And I'm like, I just. It's the mantle effect, right? Yeah. You know, the 52 mantle. Yeah, it's as well. I believe there's one at the very end of the hall right before the hotel. Yep. Well, to be honest, he's the only what two that I'm kind of interested in right. today. I guess kind of let me know where you're at and think about it. Uh, let's see. I'm only a little hesitant on the wild card because the edges are kind of rough on it. It's a little bit rough, but they're really hard to find. I know. Um, it is and it isn't. Because I know last time you had some of the gold and silver ones, that's just the standard wild card one. So. Yeah. Unless the salt was off. Um, Home. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. I have we a hard, need the Christmas time to really get time me. moving those. <laughs> I do. I'll do 120 for both. I got. I got 50 on this one. And I got 70 on this one. And I'll throw in the die cut. <laughs> <laughs> Knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> these these don't even pop up on eBay anymore. I was fortunate. I was hey, scooping dude, these up. There's a whole pile of them right now. Is it's it really better. of the stripes? There's a whole pile of them. Out there. Then uh, I can do a hundred a day for both of them. You want to do a hundred? Okay, yeah. I can do that. They're going to somebody who I know will appreciate them. Yeah. So you know, I'll be I'm back. okay with that. I'll bring uh bring some fresh stuff next time so when are those shows coming up again which ones the national all that oh those the national is in cleveland and that's oh. in july end of july and then um what's the one in vegas next year is that the no oh, it's not the national nope nope there's a vegas one that's like a um that's more like a memorabilia show 
I mean, there'll be cards there, of course. Yeah. But it's more focused on that. And then so there's the one that between Chicago and there's a big Chicago one coming up. I think in November. Okay. It is. You'll have to look it up. Um, I'm, not, I'm thinking about going to that one with, with a buddy of mine. We're going to road so trip no, that one. That same guy that I was telling you about before, the Falk fan guy, him and I are looking to do the one, whatever, in Vegas next year. He's got okay. a whole bunch of room and board, whatever. Nice. Got the D out there, something like that. Oh, yeah. We're actually looking to go to the Packer game this year, but they wanted too much for the tickets. It just, I mean, which we knew was going to happen, but yep. you can't justify what they want for the nosebleed seats and all that. But I think we were eyeing that up because we are like, you know what, it'd be kind of cool. We've talked about doing this for a while. Mm -hmm. I've ran into him randomly out there. Super funny. I was up there for work. He was up there for fun. I'm like, just walked to the hotel. I'm like, what's up, bud? <laughs> Well, what's just nice with the card show is you don't have to spend your whole day there. You can no. just do a couple hours and go do something else. You yeah. know, it's not like other stuff where you have a huge commitment, you know, really exactly. to it. As long as you're not setting up, of course. Cool. I'll let you be excited. Get some other people. All right, sounds good, buddy. Yeah, we'll thanks for stopping by. So. Thanks yeah. for doing a deal. Are all those out of a dime box? What? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is anybody else worthwhile seeing in there that would carry far stuff right now? Mm -hmm. Is anybody else worthwhile to see in there? Not that I've seen, no. Yeah, that's no. kind of walk around. No. Like, His stuff just gets kind of put away. Nobody really does anything with it, so. I don't blame him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it. My experience at the latest Green Bay card show. It was a great show. Got some good pickups. I'll post a pickup video a bit later. This one got long, so I don't want to add it to this one. Uh, and you saw some of the pickups as I was going through some of the cards with Charlie and stuff. But hope you liked the video. Thanks again so much for watching. And we'll see you again soon.